Monstrous Rage. Cophony Scam. I get an extra three on it. Seven. Yup, yup, yup. Doubters, where you at? Where are the doubters at? Where? Where? Like, I can't hear you guys. <laughs> I can't see you guys. Like, where are you at? Turn three win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up and welcome everyone to a new Lost Caverns of Ixalan standard video. Today we're going to be updating one of my best decks before Ixalan came out, Gruul Picnic Runer. Now if you're not familiar with how this deck works, let me explain it to you. So at the core of this deck we have Picnic Runer, a 2 mana creature that gets double strike upon attacking if you control a creature with power 4 or greater, and the Cacophony Scamp, a 1 mana creature that upon dying deals damage equal to its power to any target. Now both creatures benefit from getting buffed up in power and getting trampled. So in this deck we are playing Monster's Rage, Audacity and Ancestral Anger to do exactly that. But Ixalan has given us a perfect new card for this deck as well, Inti Seneskal of the Sun, which is a 2 mana 2-2, two -two, gives a 1-1 one -one counter and trample to an attacking creature. It allows you to discard a card, then exile the top card of your library that you may play this turn as well, so Inti provides us with that buff and trample that the deck desperately needs, and honestly it's felt great. I'm also playing a spicy few copies of the Huntsman's Redemption at the top end of the deck, and one copy of Odarian Thrill Seeker that can be found with them. Now I like the Huntsman's Redemption as some spice, because it can find a card that we need, while also giving two creatures, plus two, plus two, and trample. Now this deck has felt pretty good, and it was actually really fun to see Picnic Runer still shine, even in the current meta. Now let me know in the comments if you have any other suggestions for cards from Exelon that could go in this deck, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Now let's get into some gameplay. What I would give to get Roberto back, like, come on now. Bring back Roberto to standard. I mean, I guess like, you know, Eldraine was a premium opportunity to do so. They didn't rip. Wake me up. We'll just do Icon of Class because of the trample. No, that's true. That's true. I mean, I can already tell this is going to be like those two 1-1s one flashed in, most likely. OG Eldraine was such a great draft format. OG Eldraine was so great. I mean, was it a great draft format? Arr, was it a great limited format? Arr, when everybody could just like get themselves an Oko and win? Arr, I don't know. <laughs> Seems a little, uh, a little sketch. Was it really that good? I mean, I'm just gonna remove this now because they're just gonna like bounce it with Zephyr. True of most planeswalkers. Yeah, but like Oko more than anything, I feel. <laughs> Oko more so than any of them. I think. Ooh. All right, well, we got a few clears going for us. Gotta also like keep that Zephyr Sentinel in check or whatever. Okay, wedding too. Ooh. I want the class go. Yeah, Woe was great. Woe was a really good limited format, I felt. Them. Yeah, I really like well. Oko Thief of Crowns. Well, yeah, the three drop, three mana Oko that like ruin lives, experiences, and dreams. You know, that one. <laughs> that ruins shit for everybody. Hey, Shoop. 
See, I'm thinking I can just get lethal here. But if it's hag, then I guess I cry, but... Surely not, right? I don't think... Uh, well, I do think that they could play hag, but... Currently pushing 7 damage in trample. Opponent... Has 3 toughness right now. I do still have a play with fire. So they gotta come up with something here. All right. Uh, shout out to Yavi Maya Iconoclast for, uh, you know, carrying that game. It's back probably fucking hurts. <laughs> Shit. All right. No. Mm. Like, I like Kumano, but it's not necessary. I think I'm better off keeping both Barrage and Questing Druid. And Swifties. Well, Red is my second most played. Well, <laughs> yeah. Definitely isn't my top five, but yeah, it's my second most played uh, blur, for sure. Death is in my top five, though. <laughs> really? I'm just gonna like, play Seek the Beast. Top six, actually. Not nah, true, true. Picnic, the picnic runner. What about the murder at Carl of Manor land cycle? It's, uh, something horrendous, like snarls. <laughs> Snarl reprint, nobody asked for it yet. We're getting it. I fear. But, like, they're all enjoyers. Last turn here. That lands some eight clues. Hmm. Is it guaranteed that we're gonna have something with lands again then? I mean, I guess. They just whiff on Night Errant of Eos? Holy shit. We might be. We might be thriving. Moisturize and in our lane. Flourishing. Oh, Gates. Oh. Oh my god, yeah. If Gates return? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, if that's true. The return of the Gates? That would be, that'd be wild. Shulks, I wish. Shulks will never happen. Gates, though? Probably. Gates and caverns. <laughs> the, same, the same environment. God. Gates x caves, yeah. Gapland only, dot deck. Caves through theirs meeting gate through theirs, yeah. <laughs> Real crossover of the century. So I don't get my double strike here. I'm still gonna swing though. Let's see what's up. It's probably like another um it's called Queer Fox, yeah. Let's see what you do then. Snatching up a Swifty. Alright, we'll... I 
I mean, for a deck that plays four Monsters Rages, the opponent was definitely not respectful of Monsters Rage, but... For now, we have a turn one play into a turn two play into a turn three play, so we're doing something. And at some point, if Inti arrives... Now, like, am I delusional? Kinda. <laughs> kinda. Kinda. It's got some good shit in there, though. Like, removal... I'm keeping. I'll see you guys. I'm brave. Be so brave. I think we have about like three draws still are like gonna be like stressing a little bit, so. We're gonna see. Or you know, maybe one land in a dream. Oh a little a little Delulu. Oh god. Okay, vibes. Still playing a card a turn. Matters. Let's go! Let's fucking go! <laughs> yup, yup, yup. Doubters, where you at? Where the doubters at? Okay, so what happens if, we, if I monstrous rage? Bophany Scamp. I get an extra three on it. Seven. We throw it. That should be lethal. No? Goes to seven, so we hit for eight, and we throw for seven. Where are the doubters at? Where? Where? Like, I can't hear you guys. <laughs> I can't see you guys. Like, where are you at? Like, I can't- I can't see you. <laughs> Where, where? <laughs> okay, well, I guess four lands, we're just gonna keep that, right? Nice little reward. Makes the specials our belief. Very true. For believers. They say we're a dreamer. Oh god, that's a gorgeous... Just colored swamp, though. Very pretty. Okay, Cacophony Scamp, our one and only creature for a while. The Dire Flail in play. See, we could get the crafted artifact of the Dire Flail, you guys. Rip for the Scamp. Hit. Cracked. No, see, the thing is, I don't think that was an obvious mulligan. Because, like I said, you have three plays. You know, you're not- you're doing something on turn one, you're doing something on turn two, and you're doing something on turn three. After that, if you get to turn four and you still don't have your land, it gets tricky. But in a deck like this, like, just playing a card a turn, and then you have, like, the upside of one of them being a Kumano... I don't think it was a bad keep, like, I mean, call me- once again, call me delusional, I don't think it was bad. I don't think it was bad at all. I feel like this keep might almost be worse. <laughs> Just because of like the the lack of yeah, having something going on for us. Might just, just be like removal dot deck and like sad, but yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a bad keep, I feel. So I mean if you keep like a one lander that like is already dead on, like, turn two. It's not vibes. But, uh... Yeah, Malcolm. Shit. People hag Shouldred. And it's just worth with Witch Talkers. No, you want to swing with two, bestie. Mm. Okay, I'll get rid of Shelly then. I just want to get rid of Malcolm, but... That's... kicked? Oh, brother. Okay. 
Well, on a positive note, that thing does get exiled. On a bad note, Falcom. Do I give the opportunity of trading? Catching of Kumano with the absolute slay. Whenever this creature attacks, you may sacrifice an artifact or an entire blunder boss. So when you do this creature, deals damage to this power charge creature. Huh. It's just not. Like, I could do a couple in a class and put the dire flill on it. But, uh. It's not giving, I don't think. Who makes artifacts? Not really. We're just experimenting, but I think we were kind of like telling each other to uh, swap to Thrill Seekers and um, Beastmasters, which we still have to do, I think. I, I think it would add a lot to the deck, so... Dude, I'm just, I'm just screwed. I think it would add a lot. I think we do that. I mean, it could technically be a keep. You have like the Biggest cacophony scam the world has ever seen, but I don't hate it. Kind of what you do in this deck anyway. Let's go. Gold stick is cacophony scam. The crowd is thinking of the prime. Hey, yo, appreciate it. Are you guys, is the stream good for you guys? Or are we like on a huge delay? Someone, someone talk to me. What's the vibe? Okay. It crashed, it refreshed, and it came back. Okay, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Shit. Rational is back. I mean, it shouldn't crash at all in the first place, I fear, but. Have a look at this. As well. It shouldn't crash at all. Benches, I fear. Make a little bit more scenic to see if that works. We just had some issues. Hmm. Okay, well, I hope that's that's what it is. <laughs> Shit. Yo, Ping Wing, thank you for the six. Appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you. I hope that's what it is, because that's dark sided. Um we're good. I will not be sacrificing. Drawing one too many lands here in an 18 land deck, but we we've all truly. See if we can maybe get some more cute hype trade emotes, guys. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh shit, we got the another another sub from Primate Tier 1. Thank you, Y. Thank you. Appreciate that. Alright, we'll do six to the face. Draw two cards. I, I'm gonna say, like, surely it's not all lands, right? It's gonna go like this. Oh, your your Twitch tab in your browser crashed. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you need to switch emotes when you have the cookie emote. That is very true, though. Like, that is true. Best emote on Twitch for real. Cookie arrive. The Thran portal is gonna be really sad. Never seen that either. Something something cursed. Something something twisted. Dark sided. Something, something, uh, bad vibe. <laughs> Starting a little sketch. Hopefully we can recover the vibes, you know? Hopefully, uh, the vibes can improve. Been weird, though.
Let me have a look at like the what is it? Like is Twitch down? Weird. I don't know. Ideally, I avoid ever using this thram portal for like the longest time. I think so. All right, let's put another cacophony scamp in play, gamers. And then we're gonna play Swifty, I guess. Hey, Mega Dan, it's going. Rough start to the stream, I fear, but move. Weird crashes. Another play with fire? Is another play with fire. Says everything's fine. Yeah, I'm sure it is. It's just weird. Get ourselves a royal tree. I'm just gonna kick the icon the class for now, I think. Turn it around. Yeah, I think my icon class low key better stats when entering the battlefield than, you know, Godric. Made top 100 constructed. Hey, let's go. What were you playing? Curious. Let the answer be cookies. <laughs> Let the answer be cookies. Holy shit. Brotherhood's end on the play in red aggro. Alright. Alchemy Merfolk. Ooh. Interesting. Alchemy. Pretty cool, actually. Okay, so the current problem with this deck, we keep flooding, despite having 18 lands. That's that's problem number one. Welcome to top deck mode. Here we are. Taking a Karunair Furzes. Red aggro. I mean, we have our, our our questing druids in the deck somewhere, so that's really good if we can hit them. It could be worse. It's fire. I can put it down. So, what does alchemy merfolk exactly get? What do you get playing merfolk and alchemy compared to standard? I'm I'm really not sure. Hey, questing druid arrives. A one mana draw spell. Ooh. Two mana pump creatures from your hand. Oh. Playing Thran portals. I'm afraid we are, yeah. Iris and Vamps also got one. So a lot of like typo support. Tuk Tuk Hype Train? Oh my god, we have the best one, I fear. Holy shit. Hype Chill, is that a fucking duck? A ain't no way. That is that is perfect. That's perfect. We've peaked with this hype train. Thank you all so much for supporting it. Grimace Duck, like honestly, that is perfect. <laughs> that is perfect. <laughs> I'm obsessed with that, actually. We're also very close to 58k followers. A yo, a yo, a yo. I'm gonna save this cacophony scam. Let's go. Could do this and bring him to two, but I won't. Skirt, stern scolding and glorious gill sideboard. Forgot about those. Oh yeah, stern scolding is very, very good. I sometimes forget that, like, Alchemy uh, still has access to Lord of the Rings cards. That is true. It does have that, huh? Pretty premium. I mean, I guess, like, some shit's been nerfed, but... That's still premium. In my 18 land deck? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> wow, Arena trolling us on this one, I fear. What the fuck? No. Damn, that was a shame. Absolutely fucking troll, dude. Whatever. So cry about it later. But that was mean. That was mean. It's 
Snap keep, yeah. Snap keep. It's just not the vibe. Not in like an 18 land deck. To keep like six lands, no. Not feeling it, Mr. Krabs, and not feeling it. On cacophony scamp. Oh, a land. Okay. Say that kind of worked out for us. Okay. Not not off to a bad start here for Mold of Five. Good jinx, so we see. be removable, I imagine. Not that's kind of huge. Hell. Welcome on defense mode is a pretty good sign. Is this a spell pierce? Okay. Two Malcolms chumped in their shoulder. Oh, hor horrible. <gasps> Wait, holy shit, dude. What the fuck? The draws? Oh my god, wave. This deck is like blessed or something by the red gods. I don't know. Eh, Equizots. Another premium draw. Bees. One's at ten. We hit for ten. Or like more than that, I guess, if they uh shit dude. Miss lethal, yeah, I miss lethal. There we go. Well, I guess I asked for picket runer and I got it, so <laughs> it's not bad. We got him. Be mad even if I crashed a picnic. Yeah. <laughs> Bad gameplay. Yeah. Oh shit. Huh. Alright, feels bad. Should have waited, I guess. It's literally all aggro today. Interesting. This is like prime time for Simic cookies, I fear. Simic cookie prime time. Wait, why Pia and Liliana together? What am I missing? The synergy between Pia and Liana. Yeah, but then I'm like, I also just want to go in on the Picnic Runer, you know? Like, we could swing for like 12 here. Now that I have this command to take a Liliana, it's also very tempting. In. It's difficult. 
done with timeless? Um, kinda. <laughs> kinda. The format is very frustrating for me. Very frustrating. I just don't enjoy the format when I play Magic. Um, or like, I don't enjoy the format like I do other Magic formats. It's just not good for me. Something about it just irritates me. Well, this gotten out of hand. Fuck no. Alright, I guess we're throwing that away for what reason? I don't know. Ardu Legends? Did Blood Dead Harvester? Hello. Doggy Bang. Dorian. Respect. It actually is like Mardu Legends or something. Oh. I get a little tricky to get past Florian. Wait, ugh, this is going insane. What the hell? Please stop. Oh, that might actually be like a gift from the gods. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. All right. That monstrous rage. Hold it. Pause, pause, pause. Okay, so this is 10 damage and trample. Six, seven, eight. So two still tramples over from here. Why do they do like that? <laughs> like, this is still enough already. This is ten. But okay. Whatever. I mean, I can just shove it here as well. Saying. Okay, so what does that do for you? First strike. Yeah, we still always trample over too with Inti itself. Like, we're minus. We're, we were always good. Even with the blocks that they made. We're always good. This is not bad. It's not slightly vulnerable. And Shelly. She's evil. Our opponent book the scar challenge. So this is going to get to um four toughness now, but it'll be three toughness with monsters rage, so we are fine. To be fair, like, good cards I own pile, like, that's the entirety of Timeless right now. <laughs> like, the entire Timeless format is just good cards I own, so, like, I don't blame you. Like, it works, I guess. Just all, like, good cards in whatever color you're in. Bring, but, yeah. I guess we end the festivities. Get rid of Liliana. Yeah. Cardo. Okay. Let's 
watching. Yeah. Yeah, arrive. Inti, arrive? Oh god. Just still make like a rectal goblin deck, Loki. We have family tradition stuff you do on Christmas. No. No, Christmas just like, it's really, I spoke about this a little bit like at one point in time, like, Christmas is never really celebrated in the Netherlands because you celebrate Santa Claus when you're a kid. And then like, obviously like, very often traditions develop from like childhood. So it's really strange. Yes, yeah, so it's really strange. Like you don't really have anything uh, at that point. Why are we ruining picnics? Because we're playing Picnic Runner. Ruining picnics is what we do. Yeah, <laughs> fuck them picnics. Oh, fuck them kids. Somebody should make that meme, but I make it like Picnic Runner. You know what I mean? Do you know what meme I'm on about, chat? Get chocolate in your shoes. You do? You do? celebrated but it's nowhere near like american christmas like my family doesn't have any traditions when i grew up my family chose sinterklaas over christmas always so like christmas still is not being chosen it's like a main thing or you have nothing going for you. yeah you put some gifts under a tree or whatever but like you know that's it And that's for everyone in my family, to be fair, so. And then we still have the Spanish side that does care a lot about Christmas. The powerful card advantage, it's true. Liana is just going to continue bullying us and work with Red Dad. I could do Yavi my Iconoclast. Netherlands yourself. Yeah, do you think someone that says Cinderclass can pronounce? <laughs> like, I, I don't think any the average American could pronounce Cinderclass like that, but yeah. I speak from experience, not just guessing. thinking about kicking it but I'm gonna shove audacity on it yeah I think that's my plan Let's see if I can go after Liliana I probably just chum with in tea in tea chump Grass Tunnel Grinder. It really is just like rare cards I own. Holy shit. It really is just rare cards I own. That's crazy. That is crazy. Okay, what do we draw then? A land. Damn. Close. Inti and Liliana are putting in the fucking work, though. Holy shit. Tired of Timeless. I am. It's true, it's true. We do educate the besties in left Ling. It's true. Not looking great, but who knows? Maybe some monstrous rages can. Uh, oof. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Red that and shoulder red. That's gonna get really tr tricky. 
it's gonna get really tricky. And they have a- they drew into a, uh... Fucking hell. Nah, I think it's over. I don't know what I could hit here. Okay, so that's good, I guess, but it's still like Shelly. Whatever. I'll, hit, I'll, I'll just slam it, I guess. See if I can uh, at least get rid of Liliana and stop that bullying. I think she stays alive. Oof. You hate to see that. Baby Shelly. I can't get rid of Red Dad, so I'm done. <clears throat> that's kind of what it comes down to, I fear. Red Dad bully. Stupid dad, yeah, real. Real, real, real. Greta gives birth to baby shiny. <laughs> Ew, disturbing thoughts, disturbing thoughts. I mean, do I keep trying? Honestly, not sure. Is there a way out of this? The lore just got out of hand. Yeah. <laughs> hold on. Hold, on, hold that thought. Hold that thought. You just look with Shelly and then pop Plaza. I guess it's not legendary anymore, but you could just get the trade, I guess. And then this thing is like blah blah blah. God, all right. What's the top curve in the deck? There's really no top curve. You just kind of like play aggressive small stuff. <laughs> it's kind of how you go. Aggressive. Aggression. Oh, is this... What? Why have they tossed Liliana? It was a standard soul that never met OP. <laughs> Real. Oh, uh, fuck. Backup Inti? Nah. These draws have been like garbage. We've drawn the same amount of cards, yet the same amount of lands. Rip. Do they have any white? They had like. Plaza with white creatures, I think. Yeah. I think they get their white from Plaza. Oh, there you go. Found it. So we're playing 18 lands, so like losing games to your you, you kind of flood is pretty rough. Yeah. I'm just strategically waiting here. I fear I cut down. Let's go for the throw. All right. Already ran out of creatures. Tough. See, like, we shouldn't be drawing lands right now. Like, give me some fucking creatures. <laughs> Damn it, man. Damn it. It's a little dark-sided. It's a little dark-sided. At least you have answers for Pia. For something, actually, not a bad draw. So, this gives me an additional five power. I'm gonna go for that. Fuck you. Good pressure, I think. And four, leaving till backs. 
Oh my god, that's an Echo's Arts. Oh shit! Vibes, vibes. Wait, God draw, God draw. Got a book, I fear. One. Yeah, drawing a god versus a god draw. <laughs> is it the same or is it different? What's the like? What's the move? You know. Oh fuck. Five not passed. Shit. One point of damage. That's all it takes. Oh god. Or like a buff even. Take a buff. Uh I have um I have Audacity's Monstrous Rages. I have Cacophony Scamp, Kumano. Chandra dress to kill. Fuck. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not like this. Not like this. Yeah, Kofni Scamp, Kumano, so that's seven. Uh and Chandra dress to kill, so that's eight pings that do the trick. And then you obviously have a lot of ways to like buff your stuff up too. So that's where we're at. That's pretty fucking awful. Jaxus? Like, let him cook, I guess, but... Damn. Please, no, I'm a star. Nah, it's true. Gotta believe in Kamano with the top. Let's go. Four copies. One time. Something with haste. That would also do the trick right now because they're goofy. Which is a monastery Swiss spear. Come on, one time. Ooh! <laughs> all right, all right. You know what? Did we deserve to win that game? No. No. <laughs> Avocado Lad, thank you for 16. We did not deserve to win that. We did it anyways. <laughs> Yippee! Yeah. True. <laughs> It's just true. There aren't fantastic answers in the format for, like, you know, the insane amount of, like, scary cards there are. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe it's Delusion. I don't know. The historic is combo hellscape? How? What combos are historic? I mean, I guess it's nowadays. Never mind. I guess it's the uh, turn three, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, I guess so. all the um school for uh, shit right body cook because it smells burnt <laughs> hey fuck you <laughs> now hold up that's not very nice you're not wrong but i'm saving my scam stay alive bestie dog gathis is school for Discover problem a little discover is a little problematic. Did that sounds about right? I mean, I would just imagine there are like a reasonable amount of answers. Yogg is still really strong, but I do like Yogg. I think you know what? I'm gonna say it. I think Yogg is classy. I think Yogg is a very classy deck. I don't know. If if I ever like if there's a combo deck that I respect. Out of all combo decks, it's Yogg. I feel it's a very, it's a very classy deck. Very nice. A very honorable, like, combo deck, and I respect it. Holy fucking shit, fight rigging. Yogg is a gentleman. Nah, it's true, it's true. We just gotta, somebody just gotta, gotta like, make a Yogg deck in Timeless, to be honest. Surely it's possible. Well, I want to play some more cookies today. That's it's definitely part of the plan. It's uh, it's definitely part of the plan.
Mm. Um. Cook with cauldron yog. I don't think he needs. Mm. Mm. I don't know because I also feel like there is probably a lot of power in like dark ritual in that deck and like demonic pacts. That's both seem like upgrades for Yogg. To me. Like, how quick can you combo with a Dark Ritual? Gotta be pretty quick, no? <laughs> Gotta be. If I do, like, if you have, like, a turn one ritual into. Or, like, if you have a turn one halfling into a turn two ritual, do you combo off on turn two? I don't know. Hey, first, thank you for the 24. Turn one Necropotence. Yeah, like, imagine giving Yogg Necropotence. Pact. And ritual. Somebody cooked there. You know, I think. Maybe. Thank you so much for us. 24, two years. We love to see it. What a bestie. Uh, let's have a look. I mean, it should just be a win with, like, buffing up the Cacophony scam, to be honest. <laughs> That's already, like, six damage, so... I think Wall of Roots. That's Yogg's big scam mana. I feel like fight rigging decks are, like, their own separate, separate thing, but... Yeah, I guess you do get just a lot of value. This looks pretty pretty nice. Fucking dinosaur, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it will never grow old, truly. Stupid fucking dino. Oh wow, that is an early frill back though. That is an early boy. Sometimes just fun to gem dinos. Yeah, like, as y'all should. Whoopsies. I'm actually gonna get rid of the Lord Keeper because I am scared. <laughs> I'm respecting the, the power. Hey, Georgie, what's up? How are y'all? I'm good. How are you? Playing some uh, roll picnic pruner. My daughter's ex school dinos easy to use and can run people over. That's true. Dinos is very beginner friendly. That is true. Alrighty. Hmm. Keep your dinosaur, I guess. I knew Swiss Bear. He has all my Cavern of Souls, though. <laughs> oh, shit! She's got a plan! I respect the hustle. She seems pretty smart. Unlike this opponent. What the hell? What's that? <laughs> What's that? Uh... Anyway, how much damage do we have? This is an additional 6, and this is an additional 5. So we have 11 power on this board. Puts us to... 14. I could also just uh, do Monetary Swiss Bear plus Play With Fire and put Picnic Runner in play. Oops, would I'm the right, right at the misclick? Yeah, it could not be me. Like, I respect it, though. It. I mean, I wish they had another for them. Like, they seem like besties. They're playing something good. Misclicks is like. Such an unfortunate way to get somebody that's had a 
history of misclicks now in the recent like couple months. It sucks. Thank you.